Hi, I'm William Spaniel. The time has come for us to learn how to calculate payoffs in mixed strategy Nash equilibria, so that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get started, I just wanted to point out that the game theory calculator I host on my website will actually calculate these things for you if you simply input the game matrix that you're looking at. So if you either are unfamiliar with this calculator or you're using an older version of it which doesn't have this capability, I recommend that you click on the annotation on your screen and that will take you to a place that you can download this calculator from. I think you'll find it very useful for these sorts of problems that you'll encounter. But that aside, regardless of whether you're using the calculator to do these things or you're doing them all by hand, it's important to A, know the theory behind what you're doing and B, know the mechanics behind what you're doing. And we'll cover both of those things here today. So let's get started. We're gonna be looking at the battle of the sexes game that we were doing, that we were solving, I should say, in the last video. You'll remember that there are two pure strategy Nash equilibria for this game. There is the ballet ballet equilibrium and the fight fight equilibrium. There is also a third Third equilibrium in mixed strategies. And a natural question is going to be comparing the payoff for this mixed strategy Nash equilibrium to the payoff for the pure strategy Nash equilibria. We have the payoffs for the pure strategy Nash equilibria. They're very straightforward. They're right there in the game matrix. So for the ballet ballet equilibrium, player one gets one point, player two gets two points. For the fight fight equilibrium, player one gets two points, player two gets one point. We don't know just by looking at the matrix what the payoff is for the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So we wanna learn how to calculate that. So how do we go about doing this? Well, the first step is to find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. But because we're good game theorists, and also because we've done this in the last video, we already know what that mixed strategy Nash equilibrium is. It's for player one to go to the ballet one third of the time and the fight two thirds of the time, and for player two to go to the ballet two thirds of the time and the fight one third of the time. Now, I recommend when you're doing these things to actually write these probabilities down just like I've done. Put them next to the strategies for each of the players. This is gonna be important for the next step, which is going to be to multiply all these things out. So we have four cells, and what we wanna do is look at the probability of each of these cells actually happening. So here we have for this top left cell, probability one third of player one going to the ballet and probability two thirds for player two to go to the ballet. And so we wanna multiply these things out. And if you do that, you have one third times two, two thirds is two ninths. And you're gonna do that for each of these cells. So for the top right, it's one third times one third, which is one ninth. For the bottom left, it's two thirds times two thirds, which is four ninths. And for the bottom right, it's two thirds times one third, for two ninths. And again, I recommend that you actually write these things down. So you can put them in here just like that. And again, these numbers just come from what you're looking at of these probabilities. So this and this go to that, this and this go to that, this and this go to that, and this and this go to that. Now we need to pick a player that we're going to calculate the mixed strategy payoff for. Let's do it for player one. And for the sake of exposition, let's get rid of all of the unnecessary information that we have on our screen now. And also for the sake of exposition, I've added multiplication symbols because we're gonna multiply these things. So what we wanna do is multiply one times two ninths, zero times one ninth, zero times four ninths, and two times two ninths. So what's the theory behind what's going on here? Well, each of these probabilities is the probability that you actually end up at this outcome given that you're playing the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So let's say we're playing the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, then the probability that we both end up at the ballet is the probability that player one goes to the ballet times the probability that player two goes to the ballet, which is one third times two thirds, which is two ninths. And likewise, that's what each of these things here is going to be calculating. This four ninths here is, well, the probability player one goes to the fight is two thirds. The probability that player two goes to the ballet is two thirds. So the probability that player one goes to the ballet and player two goes, sorry, that player one goes to the fight and player two goes to the ballet is four ninths. And that's what each of these things represents. Now, the blue numbers on the screen are the payoffs that you get for each of these outcomes. So if you do end up at the ballet, uh, if both players end up at the ballet, then player one gets a payoff of one. If both players end up at the fight, player two gets a payoff of two, and otherwise he gets zero. So we're simply multiplying the utilities for each of these outcomes times the probability that the outcome actually occurs. And the next step, and actually the final step, is going to be to add all of these things together. So to get all this information here, we have two ninths plus zero plus zero plus four ninths equals six ninths, that reduces to two thirds. And this number right here, this two thirds, is actually the payoff in the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium for player one. 
Now, I'm going to leave it up to you to calculate the mixed strategy, Nash equilibrium payoff for player two, but suffice it to say, it's actually going to be the same thing as player one's. Now, don't take this to mean that all uh, mixed strategy Nash equilibria are going to be equal for both players in all games. That's actually not going to be the case, but for this particular case, well, that is uh, what's going to happen. So I think that this is actually fairly clear and fairly easy to do as long as you're uh, good about all of the arithmetic and you don't make simple mistakes and like I said to do uh, really careful things with the annotation. So I actually write all of these things down all these little pieces of information here so it's very easy to double check my answer and to make sure that I'm not doing something uh, simple uh, to, to screw things up and to, to get points off for just really silly reasons. So like I said, I hope that was clear. Now that we know the payoffs for the mixed strategy uh, for this particular game, we can do interesting things for it. And in the next video, we will actually get to doing that. So join me then.